Hi, my name is Jada Raymond. I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed, the brand new franchise being brought to you by Ubisoft's Montreal studio. We've been keeping the game really under wraps. I mean, not a, we haven't really showed much since last year's E3, and we're waiting for this E3 to have another big hands-on demo. We're showing you guys some brand new footage, some new environments today. But as far as the overarching franchise conspiracy and the stuff that people are wondering about, that's going to have to wait even after E3. So unfortunately, I can't tell you anything new today. What we're showing tonight is really a teaser. And the, we do show some really cool fighting moves. Um, we show the size and depth and detail in the environment, so you're going to get to see Jerusalem, Damascus, the kingdom, you're going to get to see cities that are 15 times larger than what we saw at last year's E3, but it's a very short video. The main focus is really on the mood and the experience you're going to get being Altair an assassin, um, and it really is made to highlight all of the detail and the polish that we've been putting in over the last year. So Leap of Faith is a really cool move to experience. Basically from anywhere you are, if there's a bale of hay on the ground, which is indicated by like birds on a rooftop, you can jump off of that spot and experience a free fall into the bale of hay. Now it's a really cool experience, but it also serves a gameplay purpose. So one of the things we've really spent a lot of time working on this past year is really great chase and escape sequences. Now, this is a part of like our gameplay loop that you don't normally see in games, usually like you assassinate a guy, missions over, success. We have a whole other part that's like get out of there, hide, get back to the bureau. That's like the huge adrenaline part of the game. And you're going to see chases that go throughout the cities, through crowds. I mean, you can take the rooftops and the enemies and the guards are very, have very good AI and they can basically figure out the shortest distance between you and them and come at you from all different angles. So in the escape it's actually quite challenging and you may be running for a while and one good um, way to get away is to take the rooftops, try and break the line of sight, get some distance there because the enemies are a little bit slower and then look for a bale of hay and do that leap of faith and you'll break the line of sight with them and you'll end up in this bale of hay and they're going to be stuck wondering where you disappeared to and what happened to you. So it's one of those fantastic moments, but it also like it has a gameplay purpose. <laughs> Our objective with Assassin's Creed is to deliver the exact same experience across all the next-gen consoles. So we've been developing for a long time on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and our engine's really been made to like be able to deliver the same, you know, crowds of 150 people, the same quality of like textures and everything else on both systems. And now we're working hard at making it also work on high-end PCs, you know, instead of a mainframe. <laughs> We're going to get there too, so our goal is to have the exact same experience on all platforms. So I know that what we've shown is a bit of a teaser, but it's to get you hyped at what's coming out on Assassin's Creed on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC at the end of 2007.